What's going on guys? Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel and I am the Beastly Gamer. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about The Last of Us Part 2 Remaster. Yes, it's a big deal. Everybody's talking about it. If you're on YouTube or if you're on social media, you've seen the dislikes bar. It's pretty high. People are pretty frustrated with Naughty Dog right now and I can totally understand why. I'm a big fan of the franchise uh, as in Part 1. I never played Part 2 don't want to play part two and I got my reasons for that. Today's video is a little bit about the nature of remakes. When is it timely to make one? When is it necessary? And what I think about this idea of remastering a game that just came out. I mean, it still to me feels like The Last of Us Part 2 is a brand new game. I literally know people who are playing it right now as their main game and it's one of the newer games they own. So it's not like it's five years old. It's not like it's 10 years old. The game might be two or three years old. It's not old really at all. Maybe three-year-old game. And um, it's really, really strange to me that Neil Druckmann and the team over at Naughty Dog have decided to go this direction and start doing remasters rather than give the fans what they what they promised them. I remember years and years ago they were talking about the multiplayer Factions game, Factions Part 2, coming to the PS5. And that was something that excited me because Factions is my favorite multiplayer game. And it still is to this day. But I never played Part 2 for my own foundational beliefs. I, I don't like the disrespect that Neil Druckmann and Nutty Dog directed at the fans. Uh, I don't like the agenda that Neil Druckmann uh, obviously pushes, his feminist frequency, Anita Sarkeesian nonsense. Um, as a Christian man, I don't stand behind all of the LGBT crap that he, he infuses into the games. And honestly, I think as a parent, that stuff can be detrimental to children. And so I really don't want to partake of that tree, of that fruit, and especially around my young children, because I feel like it is an agenda. Uh, part one was a very good game, and like I said, it came out years ago, 2012, 2013, and at the time, I was much younger. I'm in my mid-40s now, and I didn't think of it, you know, as deeply as I probably should have, because it, it seemed like a one-off. Maybe it was just a great story, but this guy obviously had an agenda, and so by the time part two came out, we learned the revelations of what he planned on doing to the main protagonist, how he wanted to disrespect the fans that made the game the masterpiece that it was, because it wouldn't have been a masterpiece unless people bought it. And so we all bought part one, made it a huge success, and then he turns around and basically flips off all the fans and brutally has the main protagonist murdered while infusing all this LGBT nonsense into the game. I'm just not a fan. Needless to say, there have been some incredible remakes and remasters in the, in the past few years, in the last decade. Um, uh, Shadow of the Colossus is one of them. Capcom has really knocked it out of the park with some of their games. They remade Mafia, Resident Evil 4. You know, I'm play, I'm on my ninth playthrough of that game right now because I'm a huge fan of Resident Evil 4. Part 2 was incredible. 3 was okay. They're remaking 5. Um, they did some God of War remasters years ago. Sometimes it's really necessary. They remastered Spyro the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot. These games, I think, are timely and they make sense. If there's a game that's come out a long time ago and it doesn't translate well to modern consoles or modern controls, then I think sometimes it's good to do a remaster so a new generation can really experience that game with added features, bonuses, graphical perks, and things like that. With that said, The Last of Us Part Two, it doesn't really seem to have any of that, and it kind of feels like a cash grab. I know it's not going to be a full-price game if you already own it. Um... And I'll never own it. I'm just letting you guys know now. It's my principle. I'm never going to buy the game. You know, some people talk a big game when they say they, they're going to vote with their wallets. I actually do, man. I, I, I vote with my wallet. Uh, if there's something I don't stand behind, I don't support, and I don't agree with, I'm not going to funnel you my hard-earned dollars to support your agenda. I just can't do it. But um, this game feels more like a cash grab to me. It feels like um, instead of... You know, hiring the team that that you told the fans you were going to hire to put out new projects, you are just regurgitating. I mean, The Last of Us Part Two was already a PS5 game. Of course, it was cross-console with PS4, but there was many graphical flourishes and upgrades the PS5 got. Now, it looks like we're just getting, or you guys are going to get, new costumes. Who cares about new cons costumes? Um, you're going to get uh, a horde mode, right? And, and maybe a few graphical flourishes. Now, the only thing that could ever have made me buy this game is if Neil Druckmann had a little humility and realized what he did to his fans. But he doesn't. If he'd done that and said, hey, look, we're going to add a different ending where Joel stays in the game and we're not going to have this chick, you know, play uh, mini golf with his head. 
and we're going to change the game, change the paradigm, and have like an alternate reality where if you like the original game, that game, that storyline can go on in the next version. If you if you like this version of the game, we can make another uh, part three that goes along with this. Something like that for the fans. I think that would have been a good move. It's funny to me, though, when you think about the ethos of the environment we're in today, especially here in the West. We're starting to see, we saw this woke agenda. And I, you know, Neil Druckmann's a big fan of the woke agenda. Uh, he's a fan of Anita Sarkeesian. He, he, he glorified her. He doesn't like having attractive women in his video games. Um, and, and he's a woke character. And, and a lot of, a lot of America, the last five or six years has gone woke. And we've seen what's happened to companies that have gone woke. Um, look at the Marvels. It's the biggest disaster for Disney. Uh, look what happened to the Star Wars franchise. Look what this movie Wish just came out about communism, about everybody gets a trophy. People are tired of, of these people preaching at us and telling us what we should be, you know, doing in our own homes with our own families. And people are starting to vote with their wallets. And I'm going to vote with my wallet once again and not support this game. Now, I do, you know, there is a caveat. I did get part one, but I already had part one. It, it was, it's still one of my favorite games. I got my poster on the wall over there. I love part one. So I already knew what I, what I was in store for. I knew it wouldn't get much crazier than it, it already had been. And luckily for me, I was right. The game was fun. It was right, you know, exactly what I expected. And I don't regret the purchase, but I will not buy part two because I'm standing on my laurels. I'm just curious as to what you guys think. Is this game worth the purchase? Uh, is it too soon? I don't think I've ever seen a game come out and get a remaster this soon. I can't remember the last time this happened. So when it when is this quick? It just feels to me like it's an act of desperation. Maybe uh, the internals at Naughty Dog are showing that people are dissatisfied with the decisions that Neil Druckmann has made. You know his his executive decisions and pushing the the, the company in one particular direction. And so maybe with those uh, analytics, he's decided maybe to push this out and try to get a little bit extra revenue in so it doesn't look quite as bad. Who knows? But I won't be buying it. And I'm happy and proud about that. I want to know what you guys think. And trust me, I know a lot of people will tell me, and many of you guys might too, that The Last of Us Part Two is an incredible game. Um, my older brother, uh, he called me and said, man, you got you to gotta play it. I said, well, no, I, I'm not going to play it. And he gave me every reason why I should play it. I said, I understand that you like the game, but we're individuals and, and people are allowed to, you know, have their own, um, you know, boundaries and things. And, and they, they, they're allowed to have their own likes and dislikes. And, and this is something I'm not going to support. My son, you know, came back from college and uh, he told me, he said, Dad, this is a, I know how you feel, but and I didn't like it at first either, but it's a great game. And so I was happy for him. I'm happy he had his experience. But for me, I take great pride in not playing the game and saying that, you know, I stand on my laurels. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know. Is this game something you're going to be looking for? I mean, on YouTube, it has twice as many dislikes as it has likes. I know a lot of people love Naughty Dog. They love the franchise. But it has a lot of dislikes. People are very, very dissatisfied with it. Some of the comments are hilarious. People saying, I'm paraphrasing. Oh, I'm so happy this game got remastered. I remember being on the boat as the Titanic went down, playing it on, you know, <laughs> the Game Boy Zero. And the graphics are so terrible. And I'm so happy they're finally remastering the game. But, you know, comments like that I think are really, really funny. And people are kind of, you know, nailing, hitting the nail on the head to let Naughty Dog know this isn't all right. You know, this isn't okay. Create some new stuff. Get back to making Uncharted. Get back to making some of the franchises that people loved for years coming from Naughty Dog and stop with all the, the remasters. And especially remasters that don't really need to be remastered. Let me know what you guys think below. Be sure to, to comment and uh, leave a thumbs up. I forgot even what to say. It's been so damn long since I made a video. But leave a thumbs up to let me know you guys are here. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time.